I guess is what you're saying. You want to say all that to your loved one, your partner. At the end of the day. (laughs) (laughs) Chinese food. Chinese. Where are you going? We wanted to talk today about something I think that plagues the world. It's very, very important. It's our social media, specifically our Facebook pet peeves. (laughs) If you have a social media or Facebook pet peeve and you'd like to share it with us, we'd love to hear from you. You can post it in the comments below. I'm going to start with my first and most hated. I bet it's mine also, but go. Facebook pet Pet. peeve. So that is something called a vague booking. So what vague booking means is when someone posts something that's really kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like cryptic. No, cryptic. Cryptic, cryptic, cryptic. 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 I'm better at words in this relationship. Well, you didn't really know what the word was, so you're not that great. So people post a really cryptic message as their status on Facebook. So it could be something like... Like like, sitting in the ER, really stressed and nervous. Or sitting in the ER, it's going to be a long night. And, And then everyone writes... Are you okay? Do you need me to come? What happened? What? And, and the person is not there anymore. Silence. Silence. So vague booking, don't do don't that. Don't do it. If you're taking like, the f- time to post the status, you have time to share what the actual problem is. One of my big pet peeves is when you're in like a community group and someone puts like a picture of like a, a bug and they say, does anyone know what bug this is? And it's like a real close up. And then someone will say, well, oh, that's a 12-legged dinosaur ladybug. And then someone will say, well, that is, that is a 12-legged dinosaur. And go on and on and on and putting the same name 35,000 times. I just need one person to tell me what it is. I'm stuck on the 12-legged dinosaur butterfly. The greater message is people don't read. They like to see their own posts, but they don't care what anybody else has contributed well, to the conversation. Well, people should only know how aggravated you are making me. I want to talk about overzealous sharing about your romantic interest. Mm. So this is when people post things like, to my darling husband on our anniversary, I don't know what life would be like without you. You're like the water to my parched soul. You are the sunshine to my cold hearts you are everything that i could ever want in anyone i think that's beautiful do you actually do sometimes liz and other people and it actually bothers me they check in on facebook checked into the fancy restaurant when have i ever checked in on facebook you do you check into the airport sometimes i have not once ever checked in at the airport you have never i have never ever checked in go back Someone, someone in. check my Facebook scroll uh, newsfeed and see if I've ever, ever checked in from the airport. I think that we should put money on this. I think- I swear to God, you have checked in on Facebook. I have Facebook. never checked in from the airport. Listen, at the end of the day, it's your Facebook newsfeed. You could do whatever you want with it, but just know that your behavior impacts others.